what do you always say? Planes, trains, and automobiles. Gosh, get it all. And we can add motorcycles to that. Right. <laughs> and planes directly above us. Okay. Hi y'all, welcome back to our six part mini series about reasons not to move to Vancouver. In this episode, we are covering reason number four, which is geographic location and accessibility. My name's Halbert and I'm a local real estate broker here in Southwest Washington. So if you need any help at all when it comes to moving or relocating here, make sure to shoot me a text at 360-818-4438. I absolutely love talking to people who are so excited about relocating or moving to or within Southwest Washington. So I would love to help you out and you can help me out by subscribing. If you haven't yet, that's one of the best ways to let me know that you like the job that I'm doing here on YouTube. Let's jump in. So the number four reason why you might not want to move to Southwest Washington or Vancouver is the actual geographic location and proximity. So as you can see behind me, the majestic <laughs> I think it'll be fine. We'll just keep going. What do you always say? Planes, trains, and automobiles? Gosh, get it all. And we can add motorcycles to that. Right. <laughs> and planes directly above us. That's a, uh, what do you call it? A single prop? Mm -hmm. Soul? It's a Cessna. Huh? <laughs> Cessna. Cessna? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a kind of plane. Oh. It's always impressed me how you know a little bit about a lot of it. Mm. So as you can see behind me, this is my third time trying to film it, this intro to number four. As you can see behind me, the majestic Mount Hood, the Pacific Northwest in Vancouver offers some of the... So as you can see behind me, we have the majestic Mount Hood in the background. And if you wanna see a video about this beauty behind me, the majestic Mount Hood, I'll link it right here, or whatever it is, up in the top right corner. While the Pacific Northwest offers arguably some of the most amazing natural beauty and recreational activities that there are in the entire world, there are a few downsides. From a geographic location standpoint, we are in the most northern, most west state, which means that we are farther distance-wise from a lot of other places. Uh, for instance, Texas is very central, so you're pretty much right in between Florida, California. Uh, it's easy to get to Mexico. There's cruises that depart right from Galveston. Galveston, what's it called? Galveston. Galveston, whatever it's called. Um, so Texas, for instance, is a more central location. We're kind of perched up here high and far away like that hawk that we saw the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, the, the animals and the birds that we see up here. What that means is further, longer flights to certain parts of the country. It also means longer drives if you wanna take a road trip. That being said, you don't have to road trip very far to get to a very different place, uh, to get to amazing destinations. So some of the road trips you can take from right here in Vancouver are anywhere along the Oregon coast. We have like the Southern Oregon coast, which is on my list of travels right here. How amazing is this view? to Tillamook, if you like Tillamook cheese, their creamery or whatever, their factory is there and you can tour it where they make their ice cream and their cheese. Um, you can go to Astoria if you're a Goonies fan. Uh, there's Long Beach, Washington. There's the Olympic Peninsula. You have Seattle, Bellingham, Vancouver, Vancouver Island, Whistler, Rainier, Leavenworth, Mount Hood, or Hood River, Mount Hood, Bend, Salem, Crater Lake, where else can you travel within a few hours? The San Juan Islands, you could drive to the San Juan Islands and hop on a ferry. You could be in Idaho in next to no time. Yeah, you could go to speak. Coeur d'Alene in probably, what, eight hours? Mm -hmm. um, Even Montana. You can go to Walla Walla, which is wine country. You can go to Northern Washington wine country. I forget what that area is called. Renton or Woodland or, no, not Woodland. Whatever it is, I'll post it. Wooden, Wooden, Washington. It's like wine country. So Walla Walla and Wooden are both great wine areas. You can go to Spokane. Where else? Did I miss anything? You can go to Portland. <laughs> uh, so there's a lot of really cool places you can go, no matter what your 
preferred activities are. If you like museums, if you like, I like museums, if you like um, outdoor activities, beaches, water, skiing, hiking, biking. I mean, it's just, there's so much to do in this area of the country. But if you want a road trip to Florida, for instance, it's a two day drive if you drive nonstop. It's 3,000 miles away to drive to Florida. Uh, Jared and I were looking, Jared and I were looking at because he's a crazy loves road trips and he's like, oh, we need to go to Florida. Let's drive. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no way. And I put it in the GPS and it said one day in 22 hours or something. And he's like, oh, that's not bad. I'm like, that's going to take a week. There's no way we're driving. So he's crazy like that. I'm not. Um, I'd much rather hop on a flight. So from a geographical perspective, that may be a reason not to move here. So speaking of flights, there's a couple things also to consider. We have seasonal flights. So Jared's from Philadelphia, his family still lives there. Uh, you can only fly there nonstop in the summer months. Alaska Airlines operates a nonstop flight from about June to basically Memorial Day to Labor Day. They operate a nonstop flight. Any other time of the year, you can't get a nonstop flight out of Portland to Philadelphia. Um, which are two smaller markets, so that's not that strange, but we're close to anywhere in California. It takes less than two and a half hours to, by flight to get to LA, and you have multiple nonstop flights departing Portland every day, different times of the day. We're closer to Asia, so if you have family or business to do in Asia, we're closer because we're on the West Coast. We're closer to Hawaii. We are farther from the Caribbean and Europe, but you won't necessarily pay more for those flights it's just a longer flight and you might have worse layovers. So this may or may not be a reason why you choose to move or not move to Vancouver because flying domestically, we are a farther market from other areas of the country. So this may or may not be a big deal to you, but if you're traveling domestically, whether that's for work or pleasure, uh, it is a little bit more inconvenient because we're on the north northernmost and westernmost tip of the United States. But I'd love to hear from you. Is the proximity of Washington State anything that would keep you from relocating here? One of the cool things about being this far northwest is it's not on the way to anything else. So if you're heading into Washington, you are going here deliberately. And I think that's one of the reasons why it's been such a well-kept secret. So here I am exposing the beauty and joy of living in Washington, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Again, if you need any help at all in your real estate needs, relocating, shoot me a text, go to my website, halberd.com, or you can book a call directly with me at bit.ly slash zoomwithhal.